the 2016 Small Business Trends Marketing Report. Ooh, exciting. I didn't do it. I'll tell you about it in a sec. It's me. First of all, it's me. You know, John. John Butt. It's the Marketing for Owners podcast. It's always that. Remember, we teach you how to create our self-marketing company that does all effective marketing while you get on and do the things you prefer to be doing. And it does it 24 hours, 24-7, 365 days a year, or in 2016, 366 days. Is that right? Leap year. But this report was put together by Lead Pages and Infusionsoft. Now they survey a number of their uh, clients and they have quality clients. Their clients are generally at the cutting edge of online marketing. And so when they talk about what they're gonna do, it's what's working. So let me, let me give you a couple of examples. They, what they actually do, by the way, you can get this report. If you go to leadpages.net, remember, .net, forward slash small dash business dash marketing. In fact, if you go to leadpages.net, I'm sure there's a link to it on their homepage because it's a big report. You can get that and then you can get all the details, everything you need to know. But this is a sort of summary. They came up with two results. They came up with the results of what average uh, businesses are going to do for their marketing in 2016. And then they come up with the results of what above average marketers are going to do in 2016. Now we're talking today just about average. And average is quite often being polite as well. So let me explain. Of course, the above average ones are the good ones. That's why you need to go get that report. Oh, it's totally free, by the way. It's just very interesting reading. Very, very interesting. So, a, in 2016, the average small business owner will market with the intention of conveying information, building awareness, or driving sales. That's lovely. However, the above average marketer will be looking for something else. In other words, just telling people information is not enough. Just giving them info isn't enough. You need to get a result. Fortunately, I was very pleased to know that uh, uh, what I'm doing this year complies with it. That's a complete coincidence with the above average, by the way. Number two, uh, the average one has no idea whether or not their marketing efforts are effective. Is that you? That is, in actual fact, the vast majority, not even average, everyone, most except the top ones, the ones that are really thinking about this, generally have no way of measuring, have no track, have no analytics, not even some basic numbers. So they have no idea if it works or not. They just think it is. So things like, I go to conferences and people say, how many people uh, get a lot of business through word of mouth? Virtually everyone puts their hands up. How many of you have a system for that? Suddenly all the hands drop down. In other words, they just think they're getting it by word of mouth. You say, oh, how many? Well, I don't know. Exactly, they're just guessing. No good, sorry. Next. Average people maintain a business website that functions mostly as a digital billboard or brochure. Now, you know I've been telling you this forever. A brochure website, the average website is rubbish. It doesn't do anything, it's just, you might as well just send them a brochure in the post. They're gonna read it, then they're gonna go off. Then, when they need to buy something, they're gonna come back and look for information again. They're gonna come across one of your competitors' websites with using the information they read on yours and they're gonna get the business because they had a better one that captures leads. Mm, remember? I talk about that a lot. Um, then uh, average people start taking the first steps into digital advertising. Paid ads, Facebook ads, Twitter ads, Instagram ads, Pinterest ads, Google AdWords. Now all of these things you could lose your shirt on. 
A friend of mine recently called me to say, oh my gosh, I've just had in my accounts, I've just found I've been billed by Facebook every month, way over what I thought I was billing. Didn't realize that the Facebook email address was another one that she doesn't really monitor. And all those emails every month with the statements went to an unmonitored email address and didn't realize. Now, it's a really, really common thing, very easy to do if you don't know what you're doing. But smart people figure it out, follow a system, and then stick to it. But it's certainly worth a look. We do really well on Facebook ads. Um, another one is average people post more on social media but spend very little time thinking about other kinds of marketing content that might get them leads. So in other words, just share, 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 like, 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 all that. Does that help? What does that do? How are you tracking that? What's it doing for you? Nothing? Don't know? Exactly. Then you may be average. There are ways, don't you worry, we can show you how to step up to above average. It's really not that hard. You just need something to follow. Then next, it, average people do some kind of email marketing but handle it all from their own email client rather than an appropriate email marketing service provider. <gasps> oh my gosh, do they? So in other words, what they're saying there is for instance, <coughs> my fire protection business is fireprotectiononline.co.uk. So if we sent all, we have out, do we have Outlook? Actually, we don't have Outlook, we use Google Apps. <laughs> I was thinking then, trying to think. But if we sent all our marketing messages en masse from that, from our Gmail or our Google Apps, or Google for Work as it's called now, or from our Outlook, that's what they're saying. Don't do that. It has to comply with regulations. It has to be monitored. It has to be effective and measurable. Use an email service provider, Aweber, MailChimp, Infusionsoft. They're one of the halves on the report. Um, they operate without a formal, reliable database of contact information for the leads. Again, the same. The email service provider does all, all that automagically. It's amazing. You don't have to be technical at all. That's why so many use MailChimp. Or they depend on one or two familiar software applications for all their marketing operations. And how old are they? How effective? How updated? Do you know? Have you tested new ones? Maybe not. Yeah, it's maybe, maybe not. So you've got to be aware of these things. And finally, uh, they handle their marketing in-house, letting constraints on their own time and knowledge determine which channels to use. What that means is no real plan. So average one, if you're handling it in-house, fantastic, but you need to combine it with a plan and a strategy so that it is not a time suck. You have better things to do. You should be working on building your business. You should be working on setting up a system and then letting it run. Okay, this is great stuff. Like I say, again, I'll remind you, go to leadpages.net slash small dash business dash marketing. Fantastic report. When you see the full results <coughs> and what above average marketers do, you'll think to yourself, hey, that's easy. Wouldn't you? Anyway, it is a Thursday, so today I've got a drive time podcast. And today, I'm not, I'm going to do this slightly differently. I'm not going to give you the details. I'm going to challenge you to go find it and go do it yourself. <clears throat> today, it's called the Everyday MBA Success Tips. So if you go to iTunes, or to, it's probably on Stitcher. I don't actually look because iTunes is like the Google of podcasts. So just go there, look for Everyday MBA Success Tips. You can also Google it, podcast or Everyday MBA Success Tips podcast. That will take you to the website and to the links. It's good. Really, really good. Recommend it, as with all the others. Enjoy it. Listen to it while you're doing the cooking, make, doing the dishes, making the beds, doing the laundry, commuting the work, 
over lunch, anything like that. I'll be back tomorrow. See you then.